Hello, dedicated listeners. I'm here in the unusually cold Dallas, Texas. The theme of the year has been and continues to be reopening. Um, even amidst the political fireworks that we've had and the ongoing pandemic, it goes to show that the market looks forward. It doesn't look at what's happening necessarily today. Uh, as a metric of that, one of the most important valuation metrics that we use is the price to earnings ratio. And we are more heavily weight the one year forward price to earnings ratio than I do today. Looking at that, where we are currently is around 34 times on a price to earnings ratio on the S&P 500. That is significantly elevated. With that said, that's versus looking at about 24 times on the one year forward price to earnings ratio, almost a 10 point differential between those two exists right now. That's the highest in 30 years. What the market is telling us is that they're expecting extraordinarily strong earnings to come in this coming year and outweigh with an elevated price level and to justify the current price levels on the markets. As things have picked up this year, the themes that we use, one of those is rising and immediate interest rates. The government bond yield on a 10-year government bond has risen from around 0.9% to around 1.3%. That's still a low yield, but it's a pretty significant percentage change. Why are yields rising? Expected inflation is rising, but we expected economic growth is rising as well. On inflation, realized inflation is already rising significantly in some areas. Lumber is up over 100%. Copper is up 50%. Oil is up 25% just this year. Home prices are up another 10%. Realized consumer price inflation is not yet coming forth, but expected inflation is, and it's justifying higher interest rates. Rising interest rates does impact these themes that we've had starting this year, and you may have heard me speak about, of value outperforming growth. And rising interest rates can impact that because they are discounting future cash flows at a higher rate. When you think about the growth equity style, you think about a style that has companies of um, producing a preponderance of future cash flows further in the future. And discounting those at a higher rate means their valuation becomes less, means we can start to see value perform in companies like energy and financials that are chugging along today and producing free cash flow and earnings today at a good rate. So having less of that higher interest rate impact. So that theme does exist and we've already seen that. We saw last year where growth outperformed the value style at one of the highest differentials on record. This year we're seeing value start to outperform growth as a style and we expect that to continue. Of course, rising interest rates at too fast of a pace uh, can raise the alarms in the stock market, and they can lead to a pullback, kind of like we saw when the 2018 rise in yields led to a sell-off in the stock market. Now, we're still at a very low rate compared to where we have been in the past, but we think that's less likely, or it's at least a muted concern, but it's something that we'll see impact individual sectors, like the home builders and areas that are impacted by higher capital costs. Short story, we remain broadly positive on our economic outlook. Uh, we are looking for the outperformance of the value equity style over the growth equity style, in part because we see the potential for rising nominal growth, impacting the interest rate curve for 10-year government bond yields to rise, discounting future cash flows further. Um, all this comes amidst government policy support, fiscal support, uh, high consumer savings balances, that all outweigh the downside risk we have right now that our regulation, potential for higher taxes, but likely not in the near term as we need to get consumers through what has been the consumption void um, and coronavirus notwithstanding to get people back out to being true consumers on discretionary items. So we are still positive economic outlook. Uh, we look forward to your questions in the future. Thank you for your time. I'll see you soon.